The OnePlus Pad is finally here and in this video I'm going to perform a quick unboxing of its retail box. We will have a look on the device inside, its design features, build quality and all of the usual unboxing stuff. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So first of all let's have a look on the retail box. Here we got the image of OnePlus Pad showing the back and a bit of a screen. We got the OnePlus branding, the name of the product and this picture comes with slight 3D effect as well as the matte finished shiny glow that you get in real life on the device. Even the camera module bump is a bit elevated even on this retail box. On the back we just got the product name, model etc information. There is no information regarding the specs like the storage and all. So let's open the box and let's see what we got inside. So here is our OnePlus pad. Here we got the user manual, quick start guide, membership card, etc. A USB type C cable and an 80 watt super hook charger. So here is our OnePlus pad. So let's switch it on. And while it's booting up for the very first time, let me tell you about its hardware specs and configurations. So it comes with MediaTek Dimensity 9000 CPU. We got 8GB RAM, 128GB storage. It comes with 11.6 inch display, 9510 mAh battery with 67 watt fast charging. And we got the 8 megapixel front facing camera and 13 megapixel rear camera. And now the setup is done and we are good to go with our OnePlus pad here. So first of all, let's talk about the design and build quality. On the front side, we got 11.61 inch display with 88% screen to body ratio. So the bezels are symmetrical and they are not too thick or too thin considering the device we are holding in our hand is a tablet. At the center of the top bezel we got the 8 megapixel front facing camera. So the position is quite nice for the video conferencing purpose. On the left side we got the power key, two speaker grills and on the right side we got two speaker grills, USB type C port and the microphone. At the bottom we got the pogo pin to connect the magnetic keyboard with OnePlus pad and at the top we got the volume up and down keys and a microphone. The edges of OnePlus pad are very smooth. There is no sharp edges but if you have a look at the top you can see that it is pretty flattened compared to the rest of the sides especially if you're talking about the bottom. You can see there is notch rich kind of design at the top and the reason for flattened top is because this is the place where you will connect and place your OnePlus stylo. The back of the OnePlus pad is quite minimalistic. We got this shiny OnePlus logo here and then we got this huge camera module consisting of 13 megapixel camera. This is a pretty unique design compared to rest of the tablets. In most of them you will find the camera module is at one side of the back panel but here we got it in the center and once again this is going to help in taking pictures and videos from your OnePlus pad. If you look closely you will find that we got these circular lines coming out of the camera module. OnePlus officially calls it a star orbit design and it gives nice premium look to the device. All around the back panel you will find this antenna line so we can expect good Wi-Fi 6 connectivity with our OnePlus pad. The metal unibody is just 6.54 mm thin and it weighs just 555 grams. So it is quite lightweight considering we got a huge 9510 mAh battery and 11.6 inch display. The metal unibody design looks quite beautiful and premium as we got the brushed metal finished aluminum back panel. OnePlus officially does not provide any information whether we got any kind of protection on the display of OnePlus pad here. So it is better to use either the magnetic keyboard or the folio case to protect the display of your device here. Few things I'm missing here on this OnePlus pad here is that it does not come with a 3.5 mm jack and there is no fingerprint sensor provided. It could be easily accommodated in the power button but for some reason OnePlus decided to skip it. Another thing we are missing here on our OnePlus pad is that it does not come with a memory card slot. It comes with 
just 128 GB storage and if it is not sufficient for you then you will have to keep working on managing the storage on your oneplus pad another thing is that oneplus pad is just a wi-fi device it does not come with cellular connectivity but oneplus pad comes with a new cellular data sharing technology that is claimed to be better than the hotspot and it allows you to share 5g mobile data from your smartphone the only catch here is that the smartphone needed is of oneplus fortunately i got a oneplus 11 here so i will see how good this feature is going to work and i will cover it in our detailed review of oneplus pad other than this everything about the design and build quality of oneplus pad it's quite premium it's a very beautiful looking tablet with premium looking design and build quality now talking about the display we got an 11.61 inch lcd display with 88.1 percent screen to body ratio 2800 cross 2000 pixels resolution so the ppi you will get is 296 and because of that the display of oneplus pad is quite sharp the colors are rich and very well saturated the viewing angles are great and that's not all as it also comes with support for 144 Hz refresh rate, HDR10+, and Dolby Vision. So the viewing experience on OnePlus Pad is going to be quite nice as the specs are really impressive. The maximum brightness you will get on OnePlus Pad is 500 nits, so you will be able to use the device in bright sunny outdoors without facing much issue. Talking about the software, OnePlus Pad comes with Android 13 on top of Oxygen OS 13.1. The software is slightly customized for tablet usage. For example, if you are using any compatible split screen app, then if you swipe just with two fingers, from the top to bottom then you will get the option to launch any other application in the split screen mode and you can easily use two different applications at the very same time because of the huge 11.6 inch display we got here on our oneplus pad you can also see this dock here at the bottom of the home screen where you will find your frequently used applications and you can quickly launch them from here it also comes with lots of options and settings that you can use to improve your productivity i will see how many different and dedicated tablet related features we got in this version of oxygen os and i will cover it in our detailed review of oneplus pad but at the first glance it is looking quite nice for sure as we can see here now talking about the camera we got an 8 megapixel front facing camera capable of recording 10 ATP resolution videos it comes with the limelight technology that keeps you in the center of the video when you are making a video call then on the back side we got 13 megapixel camera capable of recording 4k resolution videos at 30 fps if you launch the camera app this is the user interface you will find so it comes with photo mode video mode we got the night mode selfie and if you go to more we also get the option for panorama slow motion and time lapse so you can see we got pretty basic camera features on oneplus pad but as you already know that nobody uses their tablet primarily for taking pictures that's a very rare phenomena and considering that oneplus pad is going to be pretty sufficient so overall oneplus pad is looking a pretty solid tablet especially if you're talking about its price as it comes with a powerful mediatek dimensity 9000 processor a gorgeous display with dolby vision hdr 10 plus and 10-bit color reproduction support we got quad speaker set up on oneplus pad a huge 9510 mAh battery with 67 watt fast charging and a unique 7 to 5 aspect ratio display it also comes with multiple accessories like the oneplus stylo and the magnetic keyboard that you can use to improve your productivity and use the oneplus pad as a laptop other than these everything about the oneplus pad is quite impressive and it provides way above its price segment but this is just a hands-on and quick impression video many more videos of oneplus pad like the gaming review benchmarking test comparison with other tablets etc are going to be uploaded very soon on this channel so do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification when those videos are live and if you enjoyed watching this one then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and i'll see you guys next time in an another video have a nice day